Hey Sam, uh, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the button. <clears throat> it's a little bit advanced, so I don't know if this is something that you just want to like send me uh, edit requests for. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it, but again, there's code involved. So, um, but I think if you get a hang of it, I think you could probably at least change the button color. Um, but the way this is set up is this is just an embed box. So if you double click this, um, you'll see that it's just a script code. So my first, um, my first recommendation would be to actually go into uh, Kajabi and try to edit the form look within Kajabi. That's going to be the easiest way. The, the other way, the only other way that I did it, I think, let's see, on about, is it different on here? I didn't even check, actually. No, it's not. So it looks like it's the same. Oh, because it's, but then do I have any code here? So advanced settings, custom CSS. Yeah, so I have the job beef code here um so what does that look like sorry i'm just playing around with this as I'm recording um on about me what did we do yeah so it looks good like that okay so what you're going to do is i'm going to copy this over for you but basically if we copy that go to the home page And then put this. Oh, it looks like you already have that top one. Oh, no, perfect. So we need all of it. Um, oh, I know we don't. We get rid of that one. Okay. Okay, so now you have that code here. So this is where the code is at if, if you're under page. And then you have just the home tab selected. You can't, like, have a canvas open. You'll see that it disappear so you need to actually click the name at the top click custom code over here so now I have this this is the code that's telling um, you know the background color to be transparent so let's see if this one worked actually so this is the actual home page and it looks like it didn't update it fully so Again, I don't know if this is even going to be applicable to you because I don't know if you're going to want to even do this. But what I do is I actually inspect the code here. And then I actually, like, there'll be, you know, different code. I just click this little plus button and it will target what I had just selected from, I use this little selector element thing here and it selects the button. And then I click this plus and then I can actually change the code here. So we're going to have background color the for example let's just do white just to see if it works it's not so we're going to do important there we go so yeah um but we need this color so we're actually going to inspect that and we want to know why this is in there it is but, sorry you're just watching me uh, problem solve here. This should be working though, because we have the, oh, I don't have the, okay, hold on. Let's go back to about, I think there might be embedded code within this guy. So let's open this up, double click. Nope, there isn't. Okay. Interesting. about me oh I didn't copy the button one that's why <laughs> okay so we're gonna sorry see home solved go back to home we forgot some of this code okay so this is applying the same code should apply to this one. You know, 
here's another thing. I love how I'm just like brainstorming this with you. I think I would rather have this code actually in the em embed because it would make sense because then, so we're gonna do this actually. Style tag, and then we're gonna have a closing style. And then in between here, we're gonna paste all that fun stuff. Except we don't need this. I don't know what that is from, but. Okay. Now we have that. I hope it works. It should, yep, should apply it straight to that edit so we actually don't need it on. Oh, um, and make sure, I noticed, just notice this. Make sure that your, your mobile is set up right. I'm going to turn this off, display, mobile overlay, because I hate that thing. So we're going to do that. Let's preview that. I want to make sure it looks good on mobile as well. So where is it? Oh yeah, it looks like things need to be beautified on the mobile version. Let me know if you need help with that. Looks like some things are a little bit messed up. Um, yeah, perfect, okay. And then on desktop, uh, let's just click this. Okay, there it is, perfect. Um, now, to change this. So, um, if you just double click within uh, the embed code, you will see the code. The code is a little bit confusing, but it's a little bit self-explanatory as well. So, like, you have Kajabi form, Kajabi form inline. So, uh, this just means it's just the Kajabi form and the background color is transparent. So I don't think you're gonna be changing that. I think the only thing you'll be changing is probably the button color. So we look for the Kajabi form button, BTN, and we see background color. So the, this is the number that you're gonna change. Everything else you could, you could probably leave the same unless you wanted to update some stuff like letter spacing uh, and the font and all that kind of stuff. But this is gonna, this is gonna target just the button so you just change this background color to the hex code that you want. Um, and then click save and it will automatically update it. Sometimes it doesn't show correctly inside of show it. So you need to make sure that you just hit preview and then look at the actual form. So like, for example, see how this is a sans serif font it looks really good but within show it it's actually showing a serif font uh, so that's one thing about the embed box it's a little bit tricky so if we go back i'm going to do this on the about page as well because i want that code to follow uh the form around rather than just be page specific so i'm going to cut that out save Go to this form, double click. I'm getting a code lesson. Style and style, and then we're going to paste everything within our style tag. Perfect. So, again. For this one, if you wanted to update this one, this is the one on the about page. You just double click inside there, find that background color, update the numbers or the hex code, and then hit save and it will update it. Um, and then just to make sure I remove that code, let's just make sure it's working. Yep, still working, still looks the same. Okay, so let's see. And then just make sure that I remove the code on the about page, or sorry, the home page. I did not yet, so we're gonna remove that. There we go. Save, just make sure that code is still reading correctly. So this one's the home page one. 
And there it is. And it's still the blue. Okay, so that was a very long video. <laughs> Sorry. For a simple solution, all you need to do now is hit edit opt-in, double click, find button, change the color, hit save. And if you ever want to um, add another opt-in, um, obviously, um, sorry, my Kajabi is going to give you this script code. So I would just copy that. So let's say you want to add another one. You'll just go in and add another embed box. You would get this new code, this new script from Kajabi, obviously, because it's a new form leading probably to a new funnel, all that kind of stuff. So they would give you that. So you'd paste that in. And then you would see that it looks like this. So you'd go to one of the previous forms and just grab the style tag and the end style tag and hit copy, go to the new one. And just before it hit paste, I like to have little spaces just so I see things correctly, but um, have your style and then hit save and then you can apply those same styles to the new form as well. So that's how you update a new form. So that's valuable information, but the other stuff, sorry, you had to <laughs> see me walk through all that. Um, anyways, if you have any other questions about how to update the form look, just let me know. Hopefully that was um, enough information to kind of get you started. Um, and yeah, we'll talk soon.